Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We ask the blessing on the reading of your word. May your Holy Spirit lead us, guide us, point us in the direction of all truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, Matthew 9, verse 14. Then came to him the disciples of John. This is John the Baptist, uh, his disciples, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but thy disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and then they shall fast. Uh, Jesus is there teaching no reason to fast. Now, uh, as far as fasting, I think uh, we as uh, people in the church, we can fast. Uh, the Bible gives us instructions uh, that uh, we can fast. Uh, I know in my life it's usually been uh, something I want to follow it biblically if I ever do fast. I don't let people know I'm fasting. We're told uh, to uh carry on as we normally do. We're supposed to, uh, you know, it says anoint our head with oil. In other words, we should still look the same. We shouldn't look all uh, depressed or uh, anything like that and make it known that we're fasting for a show. And it should be about uh, seeking the Lord in something. Usually I think it's uh, seeking him uh, when we're maybe struggling in something. Um, but uh, we aren't instructed to fast. I think some groups get caught up in the fact that uh, they think we have to fast. Uh, there's no requirement for the Christian to fast. Uh, if you're seeking the Lord in something, you're struggling in something, you're in a time of uh, struggle, you may want to consider uh, seeking him in that way, but it really should be something individual that you do. Next, verse 16, no man putteth a piece of new cloth into an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine in old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Uh, now, uh, we have uh, in Matthew, uh, there's uh, going from the Old Testament to the New Testament. Anytime we're talking about the Gospels, uh, we're going in that. The life of Jesus really uh, part of his life and his ministry is really the finishing of the Old Testament. It's the finishing of the law because he came to complete the law. He's the only one who ever uh, could do that because he was God. Uh, yes, he was fully man, but also fully God. Um, but he's giving us a New Testament. And part of this, as we look at the new wine or the new garment, uh, we should see the idea of a New Testament. We're not going to follow the things of the Old Testament. Uh, what people are going to do uh, in the... Uh, New in the new covenant, the covenant of grace, uh, is they're going to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. They're in essence going to put on Christ. They're going to put on a new garment. And we're not doing the things of the law. That was a shadow of things to come. Uh, because it says in John 1, it says, And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory. The glory is the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. In uh, John 1, 17, it says, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Uh, all we're required now to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Just believe on him who God has sent to be saved. And that's the picture of the new wine. We're not any longer uh, going back to do the old things. We're not try trying to combine the law with Jesus Christ. They look forward to the cross in the Old Testament uh, and the law was a picture of things to come, but the law could never save. It says in Galatians 3.21, Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given, which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by the law. Uh, if also, if we look in Romans 9, and we talk about Romans 9, about verse 31, I believe it is, uh, the nation of Israel really missed it. Uh, they missed the idea uh, that, they thought righteousness could come by the law, and they sought righteousness as if it came by the law, and it never could. It has only come by faith in God. In the Old Testament, they looked at Jehovah God uh, to supply salvation, and they saw a picture of what Jesus would do in the Passover. Now Christ is our Passover, and uh, we're just required to put on the Lord Jesus Christ to believe on what he did, on the cross to be saved, and that's the picture of the new wine or the new garment. Uh, we're not supposed to try to intermingle that with the Old Testament in that sense anymore. The Old Testament just gives us more clarity.